So we're back to make our second sauce, which is incredibly similar to the first one we just made, the uh, chimichurri. This one, come on over here for a second. This one is called the salsa verde. And so we have some very similar ingredients in there and the process is very, very similar, but we do have a couple of uh, other options that we're gonna put into the sauce. So shallots and garlic, again, one pretty good size one, maybe three or four cloves of garlic. We have some fresh mint, cilantro and parsley. We also have some roasted almonds. These happen to be salted, but they don't have to be, but salted roasted almonds. We have some anchovy puree, lemon zest, and some lemon juice. So taking the place of the acid from the chimichurri, uh, where we had the sherry vinegar, now we've got the lemon juice. So we're gonna start that just exactly like we did uh, with the chimichurri. We'll start with the garlic and the shallots. We're also gonna put in, we'll put in the, um, the almonds as well. I'll give that a couple of pulses. Okay. When we talked about the béarnaise sauce, I told you I really like that texture for the steak. Same thing holds true for this particular sauce. I like the texture that the almonds and the and the shallots are going to give us. So once that's started, now we'll go with our parsley, cilantro, and mint. Mint is the least dominant herb in here, but again, you could make it more dominant if you wanted to. Start that, get a couple pulses. And if we continue, of course, the almonds and the shallots will continue to get a little bit more pulverized. That's looking pretty good. Let me grab a spatula. So we'll get everything down off the sides right here. Well, I can really, even though the mint was the least dominant herb in there, it's actually pretty, pretty aromatic right now. So uh, let's put some salt and pepper in there while we can, while we're thinking about it actually. And we'll go ahead with our lemon juice. I think we're gonna do probably a whole, a whole lemon. I like the idea of lemon in there. The lemon zest. And let's not forget the anchovy puree. Okay. All right, we'll go back in here now. We'll start adding our uh, extra virgin olive oil. Maybe, again, maybe a third of a cup or so. I think we'll go one more time around and make sure that all that good stuff that was on top inside the bowl is now inside the, uh, the sauce itself. Good deal. All right, let me take that out. I'll pop that into our dish right here. Okay. There's our salsa verde. 
Now both these sauces will hold up pretty well in the refrigerator. Um, we don't want to go in and out and go hot, cold, hot, cold. So you're better off probably leaving it in the fridge or taking it out just before service time. And so now let's go ahead and plate up our steaks. So we can come over here for a second. We have the steaks resting. You see some definitely some liquid came out. Now if we wanted to, we could certainly add that liquid into our sauces if that's what something we were interested in doing. So we're gonna take these steaks and do something similar like we do with the duck. Over here to one of the plates. Just like a nice medium, medium rare. back on the other plate. So here's our chimichurri with the grilled steak. I love this sauce with, with steak, I really do, but it actually works just as well with maybe a grilled piece of pork or chicken. Sometimes a really, really grilled piece of, a nicely grilled piece of a white fish, like a halibut or a cod would be fine. And so here's our salsa verde. As I mentioned, both very, very similar sauces. We don't need a lot. So again, kind of you decide, is it a sauce or is it a condiment? I think it could be actually interchangeable. So. We had those three going for us, the coulis, the salsa verde, and the chimichurri. When we come back, we'll be doing three more sauces, kind of a, a spin on pesto. We're gonna use a kale pesto, make it a kale pesto. And we're also gonna do uh, two different chutneys, one a fruit chutney, and then a cilantro mint chutney when we come back. Thanks very much.